Um, can I just say what a pleasure and a privilege it is to be here today. Um, I've got some connection with the place. My Pākehā parents, one from Scotland and one descending from Denmark, lived in Te Whaiti in the 1950s. My older brother was born in Taniatua. I was born in Urwa with my sister, but we lived most of our child lives in Whakatane. Uh, and at the time I lived in Whakatane, around about 50 years ago, and I know that's not long in Tuhoi years, um, but it is in my years, we um, had a school trip to uh, Ruatahuna. And I can't remember very much about it, except for stories of the children of the mist. And as the story of the children of the mist was being told, and we were staying somewhere up in the hills there, and it was misty and it was very dark because of course there was very little electricity back in the day, a, a jeep started to come up through the hills. And so all we could see were these lights coming through the mist. And they, that vision will stay with me for Ruatahuna for the rest of my life. Can I please acknowledge um, the corridor from the Rangatahi because what you did was take away a good hunk of my speech. Um, we have had years and years of international and domestic research that tells us what works so that tamariki learn well. We know that strong connection with identity, language and culture is fundamental for all children and particularly for Māori and Pacific students. What you talked about this morning was all of that research packed into really sound, great sound bites. Thank you. The opportunity that the relationship we have now is to the commitments we're making give us the opportunity to make this a reality for two weeks. It's an opportunity to work together to create something authentic. Te tahu o te mātaronga supports te urarua, irarua as a classroom. The conversations and relationships we've already have have given us an opportunity to consider how we can create a common vision. And our shared work, for, work focus is an education that is uniquely and consistently tūhoi while providing access to broader learning and knowledge. Learning that is intimately connected with the land and with tūho values to deliver a livelihood in te irawera, and which supports the development of the skills, knowledge and competencies of the people of tūhoi. This work describes what an education and learning system in te irawera would look like and explores how we can get to this vision over time. There are three principles underpinning that vision. Tuhoi exercised manamoto haki over the shape and characteristics of education provision in the rohi. Education and learning cements and strengthens tuhoi identity. Education is not limited to the classroom. Te irurua ira, irawera is the classroom and learning connects with the land, tuhoi values and the people. Realising this vision will require the Crown to determine how it best supports Tuhoi achieve that education system. The commitments are up on the slide, and you can read those very clearly, so I shan't take up the time now. But I would say that in the fourth bullet point, where we talk about Tuhoi values delivering a livelihood in Uruwera, was so well articulated by the Rangatahi. We look forward to working with you. I don't underestimate what a challenge this will be. I don't underestimate how far the Crown has to come. What I do understand is that it will only be through transparency, hard work, commitment and honesty that we will get there. And I, like you, look forward to a better, better future in 2050. Nō reira, nā mihi mai o he kia koutou. Huri noa tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa.